What's going on guys? It's the boy Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off my brand new 3D printed Beyblade. Now before I get started, I just want to clarify, this Beyblade is not meant to prove anything. It's not meant to uh, replace V8 or uppercut. It's just going to be a new addition. Now I've had this one coming for a little while. Um, it's Gunlock Wolg. I'll say that right up front. But I need to make some modifications to it before I can turn it into a switch frame Beyblade. Now, I got this uh, layer key off of Tinkercad. This is a normal layer for someone to design off of. I got it off of Tinkercad. I wish I could remember the name of the guy who created it. Um, but I forgot. And uh, I added two tiny little blades. Um, so the layer key will have something to have grip on so it can burst. But also it adds a little bit of attack. So here's the first part of the layer. I did reprint it. Um, this is Wolg. And together this makes Gunlock Wolg. So it's very, very small. Um, so for this video, we're just going to be focusing on this. Now, here's why. So this is Gunlock Wolg. This is actually one of the best prints that I've had. Um, it's got pretty good teeth. It's very basic. But here's the problem that I'm having. So the way that the switch frame system works, I need to, I haven't cleaned up this um, black one yet, so I'll use the green one because that one's already shaved down. I think I'm doing this right. Quake, Insta, please let me know if I'm doing it wrong. But the disc goes up through. And your driver goes in like a normal driver. But the problem is, as you can see here, it sits flush. The layer key doesn't grip to anything it can't grip to anything there's like nothing so i'm going to have to sand this down until i get towards the teeth that way i can actually um assemble it and have my very own switch frame beyblade now for now i'm just going to do a battle with this because i want to show it off so this is the gunlock wold layer key um so the cowl that i'm going to run it on for now is one under hasbro extend It's actually really tight. And it fits on the launcher perfectly. As you can see, very small. Not a whole lot to it. Um, But yeah, we're going to test out. And I got some combos off to the side that we're going to test out. Alright, so we have Wolg, one under extend slingshot. Going up against Boom Calzar 5 Blow. This is in my custom stadium slash stadium. Here we go. So this is just the layer key. No uh, um, switch frame gimmick at all. Um, this is just like a normal Beyblade. Gunlock Wolk is a balance type. The combo is going to be, I, I'd like it to be, um, 11, 11 cross extend, something like that. So as you can see here, it's starting to wear down uh, Calzar. It's very small and extremely light, so it does not have a whole lot of stamina. And we took no damage, so we will do another battle. It doesn't take a whole lot of damage because there's not a whole lot to uh, hit, but at the same time, it doesn't do a whole lot for attack because there's not a whole lot to hit. And as you can see, it's extremely light. Which means its stamina will suffer a little bit, but as you can see there, that's going to be its most common way of being defeated at the moment, is being knocked out. Once it has that second piece on, it'll be a lot bigger, and it will be a little bit heavier. Now, it still didn't take any damage, even though it did take a pretty good hit. And it even had to go into beast mode to do it. So see guys, you can use something that's this simple, and it can do fairly well. I mean, it's not going to win any records by any means, but it's still a really good Beyblade. And I will do some other testing, or some testing in some other stadiums. I'll use um, the Chaos Core, um, and it gets KO'd again, but it still didn't take any damage. So we're going to take Calzar and set off to the side. Now we're going to try out Shelter Regulus. 
10 Excel. Give it a little try. That was not a very good launch, but oh well. Oh, and Shelter Regulus sends Wolg flying. The wolf and the lion. Going back to Metal Fight days. I don't know why, but Shelter Regulus has just started be being picky, and I don't like it. I don't know where it's got this from, but it needs to get rid of it. There we go. As you can see, it's actually not that bad. And I've got one final battle. No, it's not V8. And it gets KO'd again. It's not V8. V8 is in pieces right now, waiting for its upgrade, which I need to get to work on. Gonna battle up against Uppercut. This is Uppercut Zero Quake. Quake and Bacon's Beyblade versus my Gunlock Wolf. Or at least before it's a switch frame. And Quake and Bacon invented the switch frame, so definitely a huge shout out to Quake. Thank you for allowing me to enter your competition. Sorry I didn't make the cut, but uh, ran out of time. And it's actually doing fairly decent against Uppercut. Wow. It's doing very well, surprisingly. Oh my god, is it going to outstall Uppercut? Wow! It just stalled out Uppercut. V8 has a hard time doing that. No damage. Gave Uppercut a real good launch. Man, Wolg isn't doing too bad. Oh, that was a hard hit. Uppercut is really strong against Wolg since Wolg is so light. Under is kind of helping me with that, though. There's a good hit. Come on, stamina. And I take it again. Wow, I actually took down an uppercut. All right, guys, that is about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, I hope that this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.